Hi and welcome. This is James. Hi, I'm Andy. And we're here to talk to you about the best headphones for live mixing. Correct. And so I guess just to start off with, we're looking at four headphones. Uh, these are four that you've tried. Yep. And um, these actually vary from uh, very low cost to maybe up towards about $200 Canadian. And so uh, when we're looking at it for uh, live mixing, there's a few things, a few criteria that we're really concerned about. Is this one is, is that we, we need to be able to hear what's going on in a loud environment. Uh, we also uh, need to be able to uh, distinguish between different things, differences, so Very that we important. can hear, you know, uh, microphones and hear the people singing, hear their voices clearly, hear the instruments clearly, that sort of thing. Um, and so I, I guess through this quest, you actually started off by using some personal headphones yeah. that you would use for, uh, call it a personal music experience, and then started listening to the professional headphones used for live mixing. And what I guess what we're going to talk about is because we know some AV volunteers, some church volunteers are going to be bringing their personal headphones and using those and possibly even going out and buying a set of personal headphones. And I think that by listening to this review of these headphones, it'll give us sort of a different idea yeah. and a different impression as to why maybe that's not the best choice. Yes. So the uh, starting off with the the dad headphones. These are the, are my headphones from home. <laughs> well, dad. I mean, that's not a brand name, is it? No, 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 no. Because uh, so I brought these home, uh, and Ethan took these and gave me these. So so they became they became dad headphones. Head, yeah, and. Um, they're okay for listening to music. Uh, when I did this review, I quickly, <laughs> quickly realized that these are not that great. <laughs> so yeah, uh, on with the review. Um, uh, I listened to these with all of them, and we use this uh, this amplifier yeah. to get a correct sound. All three, all, sorry, all four of them, so that uh, there's no uh, sound differences it's the exact same thing that we're listening to through each headphone and I, I believe you also made sure that the settings were flat flat so that yeah there, there was no coloration to the sound yeah it, it was totally flat so uh, first off the dad headphones uh, when I listen you can listen to music uh, just it sounded like I was listening to my my neighbors having a party that's what it sounded like <laughs> And then so a little bit off in the distance. Yeah, and muffled. And then, uh, and then we have the entry level headphones. These and, are. And, and were these a step up? They were a step up. Um, they had a lot more bass, like they claimed. Uh, yes, deep bass. Deep is bass written on the package. They're, they're correct. Uh, no false advertising there. They had the deep bass, um, but it was like I was uh, standing in a foyer waiting for a concert or listening to a concert in a foyer that's mm. exactly what it sounded but, but like but you're getting closer i'm get we're getting closer to to and then i put the 30s on and these are the audio technica ath m30 x correct and i put the 30s on and this is what i expected a headphone to sound like so it was kind of like First off, if, if I could paraphrase to say that the dad's headphones were a bit like you were in the parking lot. In the parking lot, yep. And, and, and then you kind of entered the building, you're in the foyer. With I'm the in the foyer with the JVCs. And then when the audio technic is, you kind of walked into the space. Now I'm there. Now I'm there. Yeah, and, and that was with the 30s. But yeah. what was interesting is when you spoke about the 50s, because it seemed like it took it up another notch. Yeah, th this was at a next level compared to those two, because I could, I could like I said this is what I expect the headphone to sound like I could hear all of the instruments clearly uh, this is definitely a great monitor headphone I would definitely recommend them uh, the, the difference between the uh, these and the, the 50s apart from you know a little bit of cosmetic differences uh, these are a tad heavier 2.2 ounces to be exact um, other than that the sound quality 
I I thought these were great. These sounded like 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 the li the live concert that I was listening to was in my head, and so and it was much more immersive. Much more. So it was like you you entered into the room, but in this one you actually entered among the musicians. I also. might have been on stage with you. You were on stage. I was on stage, uh, and the sound quality. Um, like these are way superior to the other two. Uh, the 50s had a little bit of, uh, um, just a little bit more bottom end uh, bass and uh, a little bit higher trebles, um, just by a bit. Uh, just enough that I actually like these a little bit better. Uh, hands down in the test, I would give these uh, I, I was gonna go on a scale of one to five. I would give these a five out of five, but these I would give like a six out of five. That's pretty good. If that's possible. That's pretty good. Yeah. Six out of five. Six out of five. And uh, other, other little differences with the headphones. Um, so these are on-ear headphones, yeah. which means that when I put these on, uh, they're on my ear, not over my ear. So there's a little bit of bleeding and I, I can hear what's going on still, even though they're not on, I can so, hear ambient noises. So if you were mixing live uh, in, in a, a venue where you have, you know, a band playing, singers singing, and the people, the congregation sing as, as yeah, well too. Yeah, I would you have know, to I, tell everyone, hey, keep it down over there. I'm trying to, trying to monitor over here. And, and you would be struggling to be yeah. able to hear it because you're yeah. battling with the sound yeah. around you. Yeah. I mean, it can be done, but it, 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 it would, it, I wouldn't be happy doing it. So, so that might even be similar to somebody trying to pop in some, almost like those iPhone type buds or something. They, they really don't. Like you can still hear a lot around you, yeah, and you you wouldn't necessarily have a, a lot of um, isolation. I guess is the term that we should use, right? Right, right. Uh, isolating the out outside noise from what you're doing, and then that's when the entry level headphones that go over your ear they were a little. Uh, I'm gonna say like so 50 50 percent better isolation, which is good. Yeah. Um, and uh like i said these are really bassy and again it was like i was in a foyer not not the true sound that I, that i would be looking for if i was monitoring right but it's still definitely better than definitely the, better the, than the, dad's the dad the yeah. dads yeah yeah um yeah i would uh recommend these as an entry level um you know you just need something in a pinch and you don't have that much money they're not bad um it's but, uh, but again, I mean, if, if it's in comparison of I'm using this for myself personally, that's one thing. Right. If I'm using this because I'm mixing in my church and, yeah. and you know, uh, when the band gets going and the, the singers start singing, the choir starts singing, the congregation starts singing, yeah. it can get pretty loud. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, when accuracy matters and you need to hone in on whatever sound that you're, you're up or down. It's, it's a lot easier to hone in on every instrument, every little sound with these. They're exceptional. I, I was listening to uh, uh, one of the hip hop songs that I listened to and I never noticed before what, um, the sample that they use, I could hear the crackling in the, the mm. record with these. That's how, that's how accurate these are. And I, I didn't think that that, that the fifties would be that much better, but noticeably, uh, like I said, a deeper bass and a little bit better treble, if that's possible. That's why I gave him a six out of five. Mm. <laughs> well, definitely your scale is, uh, off, is really tipped in favor the of charts, the fifties. Off the charts. So let's talk a little bit about the construction of the headphones. So, um, you know, the dad's headphones and the JVCs, they're kind of like, um, they're rigid. Yeah, they're rigid. There's not much flexibility. Like I, f I feel like if I flex more than this, that it's gonna break. Same with these. And even the padding, um, the padding uh, on one of them, there's a bit of padding, and on the other one, um, on the top, there's really no padding at all. Yeah, no. So, um, like these are a step up from the dads, 
um, but yeah, the, the comfort level, I think that's, that's where you're going to notice a bit and the muffly, uh, muffliness, like the, it's not like a true sound. Um, I mean, you still hear, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. still hear things. It's just, it's not as clear and rich as the, uh, the professional monitor yeah, headphones. Yeah. Not... And, and frankly, until you actually put on professional monitor headphones, you don't know what headphones are supposed to sound like. I, I agree a hundred percent. I didn't know. I didn't know if I'd be able to tell the difference between, uh, cause these, these two are, uh, I mean, this one has a little bit more bass, but they're kind of the same muffly ness. I, I didn't. And, and, but before that, they sounded perfectly fine. They sounded fine. Dad's, uh, uh, they were fine up until today. <laughs> and and now I know what uh, professional headphones sound like, and now now I see what what the difference is. And if my if I was doing this for a living, monitoring, hands down, I'm gonna pick one of these two. And um, the only differences uh, besides price is that uh, the 30s have a fixed cord, mm -hmm. and they also come with an adapter and, and a if long you, if you cord. can see it's a very long cord <laughs> yeah. it's actually a 10 foot cord so it comes with this quarter inch adapter and it also has the 3.5 millimeter jack for your iphone so you could use these for personal use and, and then as well as in your mixer yeah yeah uh, or, or even nice. in uh, personal monitors if uh, one of the band members uh was wanted uh you know, over the ear headphones with isolation. Yeah. Uh, and to be able to, you know, uh, not listen to as much of, of the of the stage noise around them. Yeah. That, that would also work very well. Yeah. And so on the professional headphones, the difference between the 30 and the 50. So uh, on the 30s, if I'm going to do like a quick mix, like um, I need to adjust the volume quick and I need to, uh, it's just going to be something quick. For me to put the, I could put these on and then do it, but in a pinch, like a lot of DJs, they'll they'll just listen like this and hold it and do their mix. The 50s are just, I think they're made for that. The whoever designed them put this like 90 degree swivel, mm. which makes it like super easy for me to listen to like in a pinch. And not only that, um, they fold away really nice. Look at that. Yep. And, and another thing that you pointed out to me before was that um, was, you know, someone who is, you know, working on a mix and putting the headphones on and taking them off and putting them on and taking them off and putting them on and taking them off. Uh, and, you know, when they're, they're resting around your neck, one of the things that you really liked about the 50s and the swivel action is just how they can swivel out of the way. They're beard friendly and I can turn my head and, and look around and not be... Uh impeded by the big bulky headphones yeah these exactly. are the only ones that do that and, out of and, the four and, and that actually is is, is a real a bonus in that sense where yeah. you can you can actually have the headphones with you all the time not always have to put them down you can actually leave them there yeah and have that freedom and to to move around this is actually like quite comfortable and they also come with uh, with uh, a 10 foot cord and actually I think it's three cords right yes that's another thing that puts these at a different like uh, just a little bit better than the 30s because not only uh it has three different cords so you get the short one which is this one here right you, for, for like personal devices for personal right and then you got a, a nice 10 foot cord which is like uh, straight like this so that you can go from device to device and still have your headphones on and then they even have a, a coily cord so um, if you're moving really quick, that way the 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 um, the wire doesn't get run over by your chair. <laughs> right, and it has that because being coily, it also um, it, it 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 might be easier for you, so you don't get tangles and so on. Yeah, and and like the holding these in my hand, I, I these feel like these really feel nice. They and and super comfortable. Yeah, one of the things I remember a lot about mixing in, in the church was that, um, you know, over time we upgraded our mixer and, and as you upgrade the mixer, it gets wider and wider. Um, but the desk stays the same size. 
Yeah. And um, we used to have problems with the headphones sometimes just falling off or uh, because we just couldn't rest them on the desk anymore. They just, they would be kind of like propped up somewhere and easier to, to fall. And so uh, that was one of the things that, that, that we struggled with. Yeah, like look at how, how, how tight little real estate that this takes up as compared to these. Yeah. And also, it comes with a, a sweet carrying case, That's which is nice because then you can like put them in the case and they won't get beat up. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, with that case, always means that you can store it away, uh, kind of like a dust cover. It could be a carry bag if you're bringing it to the church and bringing it back with you if it's your own personal headphones. Uh, I know that, you know, as volunteers, oftentimes, um, you know, if you're bringing something there or not, you may not want to spend a lot because you feel like, well, you know, I, if it breaks, I don't want to feel bad and I don't want to necessarily bring my own personal good things back and forth. But the thing is, is that there is a difference between headphones that you're using for personal music experiences and headphones for live mixing. Mind you, once you get your hands on and actually wear a professional monitor set of headphones, you may not go back. Yeah, it's kind of tough. My poor data headphones. <laughs> if anyone wants them, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I suppose you'll probably provide free shipping. Free, well, I don't think so. <laughs> They're not worth that much. So uh, I guess really um... there is a difference. There's definitely a difference. You don't have to be a sound professional to notice the difference. There's definitely a difference and it's noticeable on all of them. And, and I guess the, I, one of the things too is just that how loud can these headphones get without distortion? That's a good point. Uh, so the dad headphones, uh, I, I think they made it to three or four and then they started distorting. <laughs> um, the, the same with the, with the JVCs except that it was distorted with lots of distorted bass. <laughs> uh, and then um, surprisingly, because I've never used these kinds of headphones before, I cranked them and, and there was no distortion. The bass was crisp. I, I, I could hear the rumble bass, the punch bass. I could hear the highs. I could hear like everything. And uh, I could still pick out everything, even at the high level. So it was really nice. I really liked them. And so that's perfect for live mixing where you have that, you know, uh, I, I just concentration of sound surrounding you. Yeah. And you need to be able to have something that you can actually hear yeah. and distinguish. So you're able to have isolation from the sound around yep. you, but you're also able to make it loud enough because there's only a certain amount of isolation you can have. I yeah. mean, you're still going to hear things around you, and at least you can get it loud enough. But it's not painful to the ear, surprisingly. No, it's not, because it's crystal clear. And it's just well balanced. Yeah. Yes. So I, I found that... Good on the engineers. <laughs> yeah, very good on the engineers. I, I mean, I, I, I definitely give it two thumbs up. If I had three hands, I'd give it three. Um, I, yeah, really, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the, with the headphones. And I even got to say, they are, they're the best looking headphones out of all of them. Like they're just really good looking headphones. Um, there are other, uh, headphone brands on the market, uh, that kind of fall maybe near this price range. We just, uh, wanted to talk about these and we just wanted to say that, uh, again, you know, whether you see them on sale or you see them full price, it's still a great deal. They are still well worth the uh, the money that you that's paid. another thing when i did all my youtube research looking at other people and there was a lot of comments and stuff but uh everyone did have to say that for a monitor speaker these are top three hands down they're in in, in that category they're really good and uh i think that uh that just about does it for uh for this video and uh, as always thank you for watching Remember to subscribe to our channel and to turn on notifications. Uh, that way you'll know when new videos are available to watch. 
be sure to leave us some comments below so we know if this video was helpful. Also feel free to ask questions on topics uh, or like this one or like other topics that you're interested in learning about. We'd love to hear from you and answer some of your questions in uh, future videos. Uh, we're glad to be here and glad you are too. We hope you're having a fabulous day and we're looking forward to seeing you again in our next video. I feel good about that.